I'm real scared. Damn right you're scared. Go ahead, skin it. Skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. Listen, mister, I'm, I'm getting awful tired of your... <laughs> I'm getting tired of your gas. Now jerk that pistol and go to work. <clears throat> I said throw down, boy. Oh! You gonna do something or just stand there and bleed? No? What's up, guys? Your boy Benny. In this election, we've seen a lot of new trends. We've seen some very iconic moments. We've seen some brand new novelties on the political landscape. However, the political TikTok dance set to a House remix of Donald Trump is one that we probably won't ever get bored with. Ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump talking about Beyonce has turned into a brand new banger on TikTok with MAGA chicks saying, this is my jam. Joe Biden is asleep. Kamala is at a dance party with Beyonce. 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 Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. 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 Party with Beyonce. 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 Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. 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 Party with Beyonce. Beyonce. Right. Yeah. Carry on. Dance party with Beyonce. Beyonce. 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 Hold up. Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. 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 Party with Beyonce. 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 So chicks putting on their MAGA hats and doing a dance party with Donald Trump and Beyonce while roasting Joe Biden in the process. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the MAGA chick energy. We've seen plenty of it this election cycle. But of course, leave it to a lonely, sad, quite miserable, very cretinous man named Mark Cuban, who as the story goes, was turned down for a position in the White House, Donald Trump, on a commission, then got hit a butt hurt over that and has now come out as a raging, seething leftist against Donald Trump and one of the top surrogates for Kamala Harris. Oh, yeah. Mark Cuban sparked fury on the view with controversial comment about Trump and women. This comes after Joe Biden calls Trump supporters garbage. Mark Cuban stunned the view host by claiming that Donald Trump does not surround himself with intelligent women. Sparked furious backlash from the former president's inner circle. Trump supporters tore into the billionaire businessman for his shocking comments on the ABC. Uh, just days after President Joe Biden referred to MAGA fans as garbage, Donald Trump, you never see him surrounded by strong, intelligent women ever. It's just that simple, uh, says Mark Cuban, who is slowly but surely morphing into an... Uh, sadder version of Rachel Maddow? I'm not sure if that's even possible. But somebody who uh, was immediate to respond to Mark Cuban was, of course, one of our favorites and a guest on this show, Alina Hava. I just got off a plane, so pardon my delay in responding to Mark Cuban's disgusting, misogynistic remarks. Some reservos. Michael Cohen on three levels, just confirmed and denied by the Supreme Court of the United States. I'm licensed in four states. I graduated college in three years. Savage v. Trump. By the way, I could keep going, but those are the cases I win. And your left-wing media and your rhetoric, and you're putting women down. See, President Trump doesn't do that. He surrounds himself with strong women like me. So Mark Cuban, you can go to hell. I'm voting for Trump because I want my daughter to never, ever be around people that speak like you do. Uh, Mark Cuban getting uh, completely blown up, by the way, on this. Mark Cuban having to grovel for an apology. According to Mark Cuban today on The View, there's no strong women around Trump. Trump supporters are deplorable Nazis, garbage, and now stupid. Uh, this deplorable Nazi garbage woman is voting for Trump. Mark Cuban tells The View 
you never see Donald Trump surrounded by intelligent women. Donald Trump, after his rally last night, strong, intelligent women on TikTok. Uh, Donald Trump posting here with members of his staff, you know, various uh, campaign managers and so on. Um, some of the people we know in this photo, some of them we don't. These are women who work for Trump. I'm told Mark Cuban needs help identifying strong, independent women surrounding President Trump. Here we are. I'm proud to lead his campaign, complimented by Linda McMahon uh, and Laura Trump as RNC chairwoman. And this is Susie Wiles, uh, campaign chair for Donald Trump. Uh, Kaylee McEnany jumping in. What does Kamala Harris have to say about her surrogate, Mark Cuban, saying that there are no intelligent women around Trump? Yeah, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Riley Gaines jumping in. Deneen Brelli jumping in. Hey, Mark Cuban, you're just wrong, period. Say it to my face, you punk. You won't say it to my face, Riley Gaines. If you ever see Trump around strong, intelligent women, then explain this. It's a very cool background for Riley Gaines and Donald Trump. Very, very cool. Look at the, look at the, look at the these ma look at these massive animals mounted on the wall. Uh, alpha energy, ladies and gentlemen. Sage Steele. You never see Donald Trump around strong, intelligent women. That's the quote, Mark Cuban. I gotta say, I, I have known you and respected you and loved you for a really long time and have watched every single one of the comments you've made over the last several months. And I don't agree with them, but I respect them. And what you just said there is disrespectful and it crosses the line. How about Tulsi Gabbard? Let me ask you about Tulsi, your friend Tulsi, right? At the end of the day, if she had not left the Democratic Party, I bet that you would think that she's strong and intelligent but because she crossed the line, she's not. Maybe more importantly, how about personally? I know we know each other. You and I sat next to each other. Remember at the IU basketball game when Bob Knight came back four and a half years ago, me and my daughter for a couple of hours and you sat and you talked to, forget about me, how about my young daughter who I think is intelligent, who looked up to you? How about your own daughters? What if someday they decide to, to think differently than you with their politics? Are they not strong and unintelligent? What is that? You talk about not being divisive and look at what you're doing. Shocking, because I thought I knew who you were in your heart and your core. I know you're a damn good businessman and this is just stupid. Is he really a good businessman though? Like, like is he really? What, what is the invention that Mark Cuban has created that helped other people? Somebody explain that to me. Uh, May Musk, of course, is the woman who raised the most powerful and successful man on earth right now. May Musk had this to say. Mark Cuban said this about strong and uh, Mark Cuban said made the comment about strong, intelligent women are never around Donald Trump. And I wanted to get your reaction to well, that. Well, it's certainly not us <laughs> and it's certainly not my friends because they can put sentences together and you know who can't. The absurdity of the absurd in the absurdity and is, is absurd. I mean, of course, <laughs> really. <laughs> Doing a Kamala Harris impression for May Musk is absolute fire. Elon Musk saying this is totally fire. Say it to their faces from the New York Post. Some great friends here. Friends of the show, honestly. Like, it's, it's awesome. Kaylee McEnany is shredding Mark Cuban uh, on Fox, along with Kellyanne Conway. Whole crew's shown up. And you have some uh, message from the women inside of Trump HQ to... Mark Cuban, who I think has had to grovel and apologize for Hey, Mark Cuban said there are no strong or intelligent women around President Trump. Donald Trump, you never see him around strong, intelligent women, ever. Well, the women at Trump campaign headquarters here have a few words for Mr. Cuban and Kamala Harris. Mark Cuban thinks that women who support President Trump are weak and dumb. I'm here to tell you that I'm a working mom, I work for President Trump, and I have already voted for him. The world has found out that Kamala's campaign is not all about women empowerment, like she says. Do I look weak to you? Kamala Harris sent Mark Cuban out to mansplain to half the country. Sorry, Kamala, I'm proudly supporting President Trump. Hey, Mark, you remember me? Last week you asked me if I wanted to take a picture with you. Not only are you arrogant, but you're misogynistic too. Mark, I have one question for you. Can you define what a woman is? Mark Cuban doesn't know a thing about strong women. I could beat you in a fight. Biden thinks I'm garbage, and Mark Cuban thinks I'm weak and dumb. Well, guess what? I'm proudly supporting President Trump. Mark Cuban thinks he gets to decide who's strong and intelligent. 
Last I checked, women didn't need permission to think for themselves. Cosísima de apoyar al presidente Donald Trump y de poder tener el honor de trabajar para él. Yeah. We are strong, we are intelligent, and we are voting for President Trump. Hi, Mark Cuban. My name's Lynn Patton, and I am a strong, intelligent woman who supports Donald J. Trump. Mark Cuban called us weak and dumb, but we are smart, intelligent women who are voting for Trump. Hey, Kamala Harris and Mark Cuban, we have a question for you. Do we look weak and dumb to you? Well, there you go. The only thing missing from that video actually was the uh, was the Beyonce dance. Is sleep, Kamala? They could they could have just is done it this. A dance party with Beyonce, 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 Beyonce. I'm Next time, is. Carolyn Love it. Just add this as the dance music. Dance party with Beyonce. <laughs> dance party with Beyonce. Dance party with Beyonce. 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 Trump is culture. Beyonce. Beyonce. Party with Beyonce. Trump is culture. Beyonce. Trump is culture. Beyonce. Beyonce. All right, here we go. Uh, even Caitlyn Jenner getting in on this. <laughs> what timeline are we on? Just because Kamala Harris surrogate Mark Cuban is slowly but surely transitioning doesn't give him the right to be a misogynist. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Mark Cuban destroyed. And um, that's a good day because, quite frankly, you shouldn't... It's kind of like Eminem, you know? Like, there, there are... Things about Mark Cuban that like, young men and entrepreneurs used to look up to, and what he's done here in the late stages of his career has just been pretty pathetic. Hope it was worth it, Mark. Enjoy betting, like, share, and subscribe. See ya.